Okay, I just got back from Arizona and I did what is called the Intel Tech Tour. I want to thank Intel for inviting me to Arizona to not only see what's coming for their latest chip release, but also to take a tour of their Ocatillo Fab. It's the latest and greatest from Intel uh, that is making the 18A chip that we're going to talk about, uh, aka Panther Lake, right? So we know that it's based on this 18A architecture. Major improvements expected here. It's going to build on Lunar Lake's uh, efficiency, but it's going to give you at least 50% more performance according to their press materials. The GPU, the Intel Arc uh, XE3, is going to be even better this time around. So you're going to get even more performance regarding graphics, which was already impressive to begin with, so making it even better. That is going to be great. Now, uh, they took the lid off of everything. We won't see any devices until January, so I wasn't able to get actually hands-on time with an actual device, but they did demonstrate some of the capabilities of Panther Lake, and I will say I came away quite impressed. Now, they're announcing three different variations of Panther Lake. So you got the eight core, which is four performance cores, four low power efficiency cores, and then you have the 16 core. So you got four performance cores, uh, eight E cores and four low power efficiency cores. And then you have the really good one here. The one that really piqued my interest is the 16 core 12 XE. So not only uh, 16 cores here, you get the four performance cores, the eight efficiency cores and the four low power efficiency cores. Uh, but you also get the extra features that it brings to the table. Uh, it's got the IPU, which is the into the image processing unit 7.5. That's going to help with cameras. It's got NPU 5. It's got the XE media and display engine that is, of course, improved. It can support 9,600 mega transfers per second LPDDR5X. Now, performance-wise, according to Intel's own data that they provided us, again, I have not tested anything in, in terms of an actual unit, but they're saying better than 10% Lunar Lake in terms of single-thread performance, increase of 50% plus in multi-thread performance uh, at a similar power level, by the way. 30% uh, better than Arrow Lake at the lower power, a similar multi-thread performance. And they're saying better than 50% versus Arrow Lake and Lunar Lake performance GPU-wise. So CPU and GPU, you're going to see some pretty impressive imp performance increases according to them. 40% uh, more tops over Lunar Lake according to their press materials. And they're looking at a 1.5 watt reduction in power versus Lunar Lake and that should be pretty interesting because Lunar Lake is pretty efficient. So they're not only talking about more power, but they're talking more efficiency. So they're also saying 10% uh, lower power versus Lunar Lake and 40% lower power versus Arrow Lake. So it's going to be not only powerful, but efficient, according to them. So uh, pretty interesting in terms of those performance uh, gains that they're claiming here of course we'll have to see once we do get units into the studio now these new graphics the xe3 gpu has the 12 xe cores 16 megabytes of l2 cache 12 ray tracing units and 120 tops so that is really going to be great for things like ai and stuff like that but obviously i'm looking more for me at least to do some video editing on a thin and light laptop so we'll have to see how that is going to perform this new mpu5 of course is supposed to be 40 percent greater tops per area uh it's going to support up to 50 tops and it is going to be 3.8x better than arrow lake h according to that so we'll have to see of course the proof is always in the numbers once we do get review units in and then what really got me excited was this new ipu 7.5 that's the image processing unit and where you're going to see that is going to be in the cameras and i saw great examples at the intel tech tour intel was kind enough to uh, show us uh, the difference, and you're actually seeing it already in a lot of the stuff we're already seeing from uh, Intel in their terms of their IPU, but taking that to 7.5 and making it even better. And the demonstration really wowed me in a sense because, you know, I'm a big snob when it comes to the cameras, and I like to see the improvements we're seeing in gen over gen. And this certainly didn't disappoint uh, when they made that demonstration for me. So that was really good. Now, the XE Media Engine is also going to support new codecs here. Uh, it's going to get a wide variety of codecs, so that's going to be great. And the architecture here has been amazing. I think Panther Lake can be a, a literal game changer 
if they get it right. Now, of course, I don't have any actual units with Panther Lake uh, running yet. Obviously, we'll see it starting in January, hopefully, and we will start to get actual review units in running the Panther Lake processor. And again, a lot of high hopes here. We saw what Snapdragon did with their announcement of the XE2, uh, Snapdragon X Elite, uh, X2 Elite, I should say, trying to get these namings right. And the AMD, we'll have to see what AMD actually has in store as well. So a lot of competition, of course, that spurs innovation. So I'm very excited about Panther Lake. And the other thing I was able to do, I was able to tour the fab, obviously, where the Acatillo fab in Arizona, where they're making the X, the 18A chip. So of course, that's where Panther Lake is born and developed. And obviously, uh, produced. So I will hopefully get some units in by January and we will see what Panther Lake has to offer. I want to thank Intel for inviting me to their wonderful Intel tech tour. It really was great. I was not being paid or being sponsored by Intel, but they did pay for lodging and of course transportation. But other than that, they got no say on what we're saying here today. Of course, uh, this is all speculation. Obviously, until we get some actual review units, we won't know any of this in terms of actual numbers. So of course, stay tuned. Those will be coming once I do get review units. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. And if you are a casual viewer of my content, why not hit that subscribe button? It doesn't cost you anything and it helps go support the channel. You know, we're trying to make our big push for 300,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're inching closer and closer. The growth has been tremendous. Now, if you're gonna buy any of the devices we see on the channel, obviously there are going to be affiliate uh, links and I would highly encourage you to use them. Obviously, I don't make a huge commission, a small commission. Help support the channel, it helps keep the lights on here in the studio. Helps me buy devices that I'm not getting from these brands, so it certainly helps grow the channel and gives you some good, hopefully, entertaining and informative videos. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.